Today we're going to be going over the strongest helicopters in GTA 5 Online based on missiles and also based on bullets being shot at them. Obviously you want a helicopter that's able to withstand the most amount of missiles and the most amount of bullets so then you don't get shot down and also when you land it wouldn't damage the helicopter so much that it will destroy it because sometimes if you land and it's not the right way to land it'll start smoking and then after a couple minutes it'll blow up. So obviously you want the best helicopter so that's what we're going over today with that setup. I hope you enjoy the video and let's get into it. First, let's go over the helicopters that can withstand one missile. Overall, the Super Bolito is the 16th weakest in the game. It can withstand, obviously, one missile, and it can withstand a total of 24 bullets being shot at the engine bay. That is pretty damn weak. But then again, it's really not a helicopter meant for fighting. It's more for luxury, but still, 24 bullets to the engine bay really is not that much, and you would expect it to withstand just a little bit more, but it's definitely the weakest in the game. Next up we have the Buzzard, it can also only withstand one missile, but in terms of the amount of bullets it can withstand, it can withstand 29 bullets, which is also pretty damn bad. It's it's really weak in terms of bullets, and also when you land it, it does tend to, you know, start smoking really, really quickly, but it's rated 15th overall in terms of how strong it is. Next up we have the Velatus, rated 14th overall, which is pretty bad, I'm not gonna lie and it can withstand a grand total of 49 bullets, and it can obviously withstand one missile. It's a luxury helicopter, a little bit stronger than the Super Velito, but it's still pretty weak in terms of how strong it is, so that's not that great. Next up, we have the Sparrow, rated 13th in terms of how strong it is. It's definitely not too strong. It can withstand a total of 55 bullets and, of course, one missile, but I actually find this helicopter really great. It can outrun homing missiles, which is awesome, and it's also very agile and very very fast but when you do land it will start smoking if you don't land properly so with some of these weaker helicopters you're definitely going to want to improve your skill of being a helicopter pilot or else you will run into a lot of issues when landing or just fighting anybody or trying to avoid people because some of these helicopters don't even have guns so they'll go down really quick next up we have the swift and swift deluxe rated 12th in terms of how strong they are they're definitely not that strong they can withstand a grand total of 56 bullets and one missile but they are the strongest out of the luxury helicopters we have in game and they're also pretty fast which is awesome but they are definitely not that strong next up we have the frogger rated 11th weakest out of all the helicopters we have in gta 5 it can withstand a total of 81 bullets and of course one missile that's actually pretty good for an old helicopter. You wouldn't expect it to be that good, but it's actually pretty decent in terms of its health. Next up, we have the Havoc. It is the 10th weakest helicopter in GTA 5 Online. It can withstand a grand total of 108 bullets and one missile. Its bullet rating though, it is ninth overall which honestly isn't that bad, but the reason why is because it does have armor upgrades available. Some of the helicopters we're getting into now will have armor upgrades available, and of course I did put them on because, you know, in reality, you would definitely want to put armor on a helicopter if you have the option to. So the Havoc is rated 10th overall in terms of its just overall weakness and 9th for bullets. Next up, we have the Maverick. It's rated 9th overall in terms of how weak it is, and overall in terms of bullets, it is actually the 8th strongest, which is pretty decent. It can withstand a total of 109 bullets, just one bullet more than the Havoc, and ob obviously it can only withstand one missile, but it's literally the, like one of the cheapest helicopters in the game and one of the oldest ones, so being rated 9th overall is actually pretty damn good. Next up we have the Annihilator, rated 8th strongest helicopter in GTA 5. It can withstand a total of 126 bullets and one missile. Its bullet rating though is the sixth best. It's the sixth strongest in terms of withstanding bullets and you cannot put armor on this helicopter. That's pretty great. The Annihilator has been one of those OG helicopters in GTA 5, so I'm glad to see that it's still pretty strong in terms of how good it is. I think it's a really trash helicopter just because it has mini guns. Like, it's, it's honestly not that great, but it's pretty damn strong. Next up, we have the Valkyrie, rated seventh strongest overall out of all the helicopters, which is pretty awesome. It can withstand a grand total of 149 bullets and one missile. Now, this helicopter doesn't have any armor, which is kind of stupid. You would think it would have some kind of armor upgrades, but in terms of its bullet rating, it is the fourth 
best overall for withstanding bullets, which is pretty awesome. I remember when this helicopter came out, it was really, really cool. It is actually still pretty decent in terms of its health, but in terms of how good it actually is in the game, I'm not sure if it's actually that great anymore. We'll have to go over that in another video. Next up, we have the Annihilator Stealth. It's rated sixth overall for the strongest helicopters in GTA 5, which is awesome. It can withstand a total of 190 bullets and only one missile. It does have armor upgrades available, but it could still only withstand one missile, which isn't that great. But its bullet rating is the third best in GTA 5. It's the third strongest in terms of withstanding bullets, which is pretty awesome. It's a pretty cool helicopter. I'm pretty sure you could put some kind of weaponry on it. Honestly, I'm not sure how great it is, but it's pretty decently strong. Next up, we have the Sea Sparrow rated fifth overall in terms of how strong it is, which is pretty surprising. It can withstand a total of 199 bullets and one missile. Its bullet rating is the second highest out of all the helicopters in the game. The reason why is because it does have armor available for it, which makes it a lot stronger. So that's actually pretty damn good. But personally, I prefer the Sparrow just a little bit more than the Sea Sparrow, but honestly, that's just my opinion. But still, fifth overall in terms of how strong it is, that is pretty damn good. By the way, be sure to check out Digazani. They'll hook you up with tons of discounted games, gaming accessories, discounted gift cards, and in-game currency for dozens of your favorite games. Also, check out their new platform, Gaming Giveaways, where you can win some truly awesome prizes. And don't forget to use code FROLIX at checkout for a 10% discount. Next up, we have the Savage. Now we're getting into vehicles that can withstand two missiles, starting off with, of course, the Savage. Now it does not actually have any armor upgrades available for it, which is surprising because it can withstand two missiles. It's rated fourth overall in terms of how strong helicopters are in GTA 5. But in terms of its bullet rating, it's number 10, which is not that great. The Savage can withstand the total of 107 bullets being shot at it, and of course, two missiles, which is actually pretty decent. It's an older helicopter with no armor upgrades, but it could still withstand two missiles being shot at it, but it does catch on fire after one. Next up, we have the Cargo Bob. It is the third strongest helicopter we have in GTA 5, and in terms of withstanding bullets, it's the seventh strongest. It can withstand a grand total of 123 bullets and two missiles total. Now, it's pretty decent. It also has no armor upgrades available, which is awesome. It's the third strongest with no armor, so that is pretty damn good. But honestly, it's really not used too much for attacking, and it's honestly not used too much in GTA 5 anymore. It's a really slow helicopter, but hey, it's fun to use to troll people and pick up their cars and stuff like that. But honestly, it's still a pretty damn strong helicopter. Next up, we have the FH-100. It is the second strongest helicopter we have in GTA 5. It can withstand a grand total of 145 bullets and two missiles. It does have armor upgrades available for it, which is obviously why it is pretty damn strong. Its bullet rating, though, is fifth overall in terms of how strong it is, which is still pretty decent. I'm not sure how the performance is on this helicopter because I don't really use it that much, but if you do know, be sure to comment it down below for other people because it's the second strongest. So if it's also good in terms of its performance, let people know down below. And finally, we have the Akula. It is rated number one overall for everything in terms of how strong it is in GTA 5. It can withstand 237 bullets and the only helicopter that can withstand three homing missiles being shot at it, which is pretty awesome. Honestly, I use this helicopter a lot. I know it's amazing. Going into stealth mode plays a huge part and it helps out a ton. And obviously you can put armor on it and a few other upgrades. Honestly, the Akula is one of the best helicopters, if not the best helicopter in GTA 5 Online. Well guys, that's pretty much gonna wrap up the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, be sure to smash a thumbs up, subscribe if you are new to the channel. And with that said, I will catch you guys in the next video.